Okay, in this short video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Word document to end with a cover page, content page, chapter headers, and a reference list, all with page numbers. Before you get going, please make sure you've opened up the document that you need to work on, the one that can be followed by your teachers and supervisors, and also that you've enabled autosave. So to get started, we need to insert a cover page. So we go to the top tab, click insert, and we go for a cover page, and you select a cover page that you think best represents you. So I've got this one. What you'll notice is that a new page has automatically been added. I'm gonna click on that new page, and I am going to insert a new section. And there's a reason for that. I'm gonna go layouts, I'm gonna go breaks, and then I'm gonna go next page. And I'm gonna do that again. So I have a new page added, and I've got some section breaks here. Now, I'm going to go back to the bottom. I'm going to start doing page numbers. I'm going to do bottom of the page, and I'm going to press where it says 1. Now, notice that will be on 0, so you need to edit that. So, format it, sorry. So, highlight it, right-click, format page numbers, and I'm going to start that at 1. Page numbers appears here. So make sure I don't delete it. I'm going to untick where it says link to previous. And I'm going to delete the one in the previous page. Okay, now I need to add the contents page. So here I'm going to go references and I'm going to go table of contents. Notice it's going to bring up this message, press OK. Doesn't matter, we can add some content later. To do that, click on the third page, the one that's got page one. And we are going to start putting in some chapter headers. Now you should know what these are. Doesn't matter if you don't, so you can just follow my lead now. And then as your supervisor provides you with that information, you can just edit them. But what you must make sure is that your chapter headings have are uh, formatted here where it says heading one. So chapter one. And I'm going to put in about four chapters and a reference list. Notice page numbers haven't appeared, so I'm just going to go back to page two, and I'm going to insert the page numbers again. Header and footer, page number, bottom of page, there, and that's my page number. Okay, so we've got chapter one, chapter two, etc. I go back to my table of content, update table, and look, they all appear. Now let's say, for example, that chapter one has spread over two pages. I need to update it, that's fine. Go back into the contents page, update table, and update the entire table, and notice this has changed. So please go ahead and set up your Word documents with a cover page, contents page, and the chapters that you need. If you don't know the chapters, put in about five chapters with a reference list as well. And then as your teacher or supervisor tells you what they are, you can just edit them and update the table. So Stop the video, play, do, pause, rewind if you're unsure. Thank you for watching.